Are people's behaviors while traveling just getting ruder? This list of rude things that people do on cruises might indicate a yes. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I feel like this video should come with a little bit of a disclaimer. Most people on cruises are nice. However, it is possible that you might see some of these very rude behaviors on a cruise ship. Now some of these things are relatively small and are just annoying, but other rude things can significantly affect the experience for other cruisers. Now I asked people in the Life While Cruise Facebook community, what are the rudest things that you have seen other people do on a cruise? Now this became a very hot topic and received over 1,000 comments. Now some were familiar, some were shocking, and a few even made me say yuck. I'm gonna save one of the worst ones for towards the end of the video. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, rude things in the buffet. There are a lot of things that people recounted happening in the buffet that are pretty rude to other people and even a little bit, well, a little bit yucky. So one of those things was people actually eating while they are in line at the buffet. So basically taking food, putting it on their plate and eating as they go, then picking up the tongs or utensil after they've eaten. Another thing is actually licking their fingers while they're in line at the buffet. Now, some people witnessed other passengers actually taking food with their hands from the buffet and actually proceeding to eat it as they walked away, including a man who grabbed a handful of olives from the salad bar. Now, another rude thing that some passengers do in the buffet is actually cut in line in front of other people including even cutting in line in front of children. And just because they're kids doesn't mean that we should cut in line in front, of course. And something that I have to say has never happened to me, but somebody had a plate of French fries in a hamburger when another cruise passenger walked by, grabbed some of the French fries right off their plate and walked away. Number two, being late for shows. And in particular, being late for shows and walking straight down the aisle and right to the very front and walking in front of other people that are trying to watch the show. Not only is it distracting for other people, but of course it can disturb the performers as well. And just as it's not very polite to come in late to the show, it's also not very polite to leave early from the show. But I know sometimes it does happen. We don't like a show or there's a reason that we have to leave. So what you'll wanna do if you're not sure that you're planning to stay the entire show is sit at the end of the aisle. So don't sit in the middle to disturb other people and try to even take a seat that is closer to the exit. Number three, being a chair hog. So being a chair hog in the theater when people really do save sometimes an entire row of seats that really is very rude towards other people. And likewise, when people are saving seats at the pool. Now, in particular, some people recounted stories of cruise passengers that had chairs on one side of the pool and they noticed later on they actually were keeping chairs on the other side of the pool so that in the morning time they got the sun on one side of the pool but in the afternoon they had the sun on the other or they even had a place to sit in the shade number four walking around the cruise ship with bare feet and in particular walking around the common areas that are inside so the elevator the stairway and even some of the common areas where they are serving food now, speaking of bare feet, something else that's very rude to do in public on a cruise ship or not on a cruise ship is personal grooming. So personal grooming, including clipping toenails. So other passengers actually clipping their toenails on the Lido deck or in the buffet. Now, other things that would be very rude and even a little bit gross would be shaving legs on the Lido deck and popping pimples. Now, still speaking of feet, Something else that cruise passengers have seen are people actually taking their bare feet and putting them through the partitions on the balconies. So nobody wants somebody else's bare feet in their personal space or putting them on the railing, but right against well, where somebody else's railing is. So that obviously is something rude that nobody wants to see. Now also on balconies, and this really can affect 
other people's time. So is people that are playing loud music on their balconies, this is obviously very disturbing to other people and really can be considered rude. So obviously people should just keep the music quieter so for their personal listening. Now still on the subject of rude things not to do, on your balcony there are many people who have reported other people smoking, well, different substances on their balcony. And not only is that rude, it's also against the rules on a cruise ship. It is also a fire hazard. And honestly, a lot of people have been getting kicked off cruises for this. So it is definitely something not to do. Rude elevator behavior. I don't know what it is on cruise ships that people don't always seem to completely understand how elevators work, or at least elevator etiquette. So a lot of people say, why aren't people waiting for people to get off before they try to rush on? So that's definitely a rude behavior, but I think people just may not know better. Please let me know if you have any thoughts on this at all down in the comments below. Now, the other thing that's not only rude, but really is kind of not so nice, but is people really rushing in before people who have walkers and wheelchairs and scooters that have been waiting there before. Now, also a rude behavior are people that actually close or shut the elevator door as people are trying to catch up and enter the elevator. But likewise, other people try to cram into a full elevator and well, that's no good either. Now, other yucks are the cruise passengers that cough right out into the open air in an elevator or even those who are blowing their nose in the elevator, unless it's an absolute emergency, maybe try to blow your nose when you get off. Now, speaking of blowing your nose, let's transition to the main dining room or restaurants. So cruise passengers who blow their nose at the table and in particular who blow their nose into the cloth napkins. Yuck. Oh my goodness, I'm getting myself worked up here. Okay, we can't take this too seriously, but still in the main dining room, parents who aren't supervising their kids. Now I have kids, my kids were not perfect. So this is not a bash against parents and kids and families cruising. It is a great way to vacation, but some people have had experiences with families and kids cruising. Well, that haven't been so wonderful when they've been sitting next to them in the dining room. Not always, of course. But let's talk about the family of kids and adults that were throwing bread rolls at each other or the other family where the parents were sitting at one table while their young children were sitting at another table, getting up and down, yelling and even banging on a neighbor's chair. Now the other cruise passengers say that they did ask to move their table and they were moved. But I do think that parents should be supervising their young kids. Now, speaking of parents and kids, I do have one thing that some people have been doing lately that really is affecting other people's crews, including other parents and kids. And I'll share that in just a moment. People arguing loudly, and this even includes couple spats. And I actually feel bad for people in this situation. It can't really be great, but really arguments are best off while being had privately in your cruise ship cabin. And I would even warn people, if you go out onto your balcony to have that big, loud fight, it is possible that somebody will record you and put it on TikTok because that is happening now. Cruise passengers who are rude to crew. Now things happen. It doesn't mean you're always going to be happy with everything that happens on a cruise, but there's no reason to be yelling, to call crew names, or to be disrespectful in any way. All right, let's talk about one of the biggest rude behaviors that can actually really affect potentially thousands of people on your cruise. And this is code brown. Now, what is code brown? Code brown is a term used when fecal matter contaminates a swimming pool. Now this happens when non toilet trained children go into the swimming pool. Now non toilet trained children are not allowed in the swimming pool for that reason. And even if kids are wearing diapers or those swim diapers, they're still not allowed in the swimming pool. Now, there are some splash pads sometimes and other places that they can play in the water, but not in the main swimming pool. Now, what happens if there's an accident in the swimming pool? Well, the entire pool needs to be drained and then disinfected. And this can mean that the pool is not in use for sometimes an entire day. And yes, this has happened on Caribbean cruises, on Bahamas cruises. And believe me, 
other cruise passengers are not happy. Now, please let me know if you've seen any of these rude behaviors on a cruise. And I imagine that you've seen other rude behaviors on a cruise. So please let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.